so hello everyone i'm shanath back again with another video so welcome to the dart course and in the previous video we have seen the concept of for and for in loop and how can we implement it and today we'll be using arrays we have talked uh, the concepts of arrays in the previous video now we'll actually apply it we'll see the application of it we will actually do modifications on arrays so let's get started so into the exercise files i'll create a folder name make sure you are creating that outside okay so create it by giving the name intermediate like this and then create a new file by clicking the first icon and name it mm, let's say array 02 dot dot okay so first we have to declare the main function then first we have to initialize the array with with a fixed number that is maybe 5 maybe 10 as for the requirement i will initialize the array where a r r equals to new list and within the list i will pass say 10 10 elements i'll be doing work and then for where i equals to 0 i less than arr dot length i plus plus And after that, I will do this. And you can print ARR by this. Let's run it and check whether what is giving the output. And before that, I want to explain you the problem. That what have we done? I have initialized the array okay with 10 elements and these are empty and then I need to initialize every element with something so I'm not taking values from the user to in you know, to add in the array I am just using the for loop so for where i equals to 1 sorry i equals to 0 and i less than ar dot length here ar dot length represents the length of the array let me comment it and write it ar dot length represents the length of the array okay and it will move until the length of the array is smaller than the loop variable that is i then i plus plus i a, a, array i means that the particular index of that array will be assigned to the loop variable that is if i equals to 0 then arr arr 0 equals to 0 means the first position that is the 0th index of the array will be assigned to 0 and when i equals to 1 then it will be 1 that is the first index will be 1 and as follows the second index will be 2 like this that is the array will be from 0 to 9 so let's run it and see what happens so let's go into the intermediate folder okay then we should run a dart space here yeah. see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 till 9 it is having so like this we can actually add elements in the array and there are many ways we can add list dot add we can add like that okay these are the few things we can do and after that i want to 
show you that how can you print the thing let me use foreign loop for that I've told you that it foreign loop actually applies in case of any iterating substance okay so it will give the same result see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so like this it happens and now I want to show you something that how can we sort array elements okay so this much is okay I want to remove this so where is C C let's suppose C I will tell you that why I am taking C and why I am doing something C uh, let me write the code where I equals to arr dot length i greater than equal to zero and minus one i minus minus let me run this first and explain you what i have done then i will do the next part first i have initialized the array then i have initialized c with zero why we have initialized we will see then we have taken for where i equals to array dot length minus one that is 10 minus one that is nine from nine to zero it will move okay it will iterate and the most interesting fact that the array will start from nine because we are initializing arr equals to 1 and c here denotes the index of the array that is array 0 equals to 9 array 1 equals to 8 array 2 equals to 7 like this it will print the thing in the reverse order like uh, 9 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 like this so let's run this and see what happens see 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 you can clearly see like this okay now I now I want to sort the array in the ascending order so what we will do array dot sort don't forget to put a semicolon and then we will let's uh, foreign the thing you can give it a arr and then print print item let's run it and it will give me 0 1 2 3 like this check 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so for better understanding I am commenting this one out and and this one too just print arr and see what happens see 0 1 2 3 and if I uncomment this see the main original array is 9 8 7 and the sorted array is this so these are the operation and there are many functions that you can use that is dot length okay you can use dot length to fi find the length of the array and then you can do index of to get that particular index that the element is present you can use is empty to find that the array is empty or not you can actually insert variables by doing dot add there are many functions you can try it out okay and you can search it on web or you can go through documentation it's up to you so this much for this video in the next video we'll be talking about maps the advanced concept how can we deal it okay this much is enough for flutter but for better understanding you can go and check it out the documentation part let's catch up in the next video thank you bye bye
and one more important announcement at dsc kit is organized uh, organizing an hackathon so the so please do register if you're interested and the link will be down in the description go ahead bye bye